plan to rebuild your home on the property, buy a home elsewhere, or continue to live on the farm? Uh, I'm not going to do any of those things. I'm not going to rebuild on that property. I'm not going to buy a home somewhere else, and I can't continue to live on the farm because it's too far from the mall. You are the voice of Elvin on King of the Hill. Who is your favorite cartoon character? Five hundred and eleven. Just wondering if Mr. Trump told you why he's not running after all. No, he didn't tell me. He did not tell me. And I had a lot of people ask me what I thought about it. And did I think he was going to run? Like I know, he he won't. He doesn't tell me. Uh, what's it like to be voted country sexiest man? <laughs> Do you agree with the title? It's funny. It's flattering, but it's it's funny, and my wife gets a kick out of it, and she just rolls her eyes. What's the inspiration behind Honky Tonk, Badonk, Badonk? What is your definition of Badonk, Badonk? Well, let's start with uh, the latter. Um, it's a well-proportioned derriere. It's not the emaciated model, skinny little bony thing. That's That don't work. That's not appealing. It's the well-rounded. That's what I'm into. And the inspiration is that. A well-rounded, beautiful But I love you on Celebrity Apprentice. What did you enjoy best about being on the show? And what were your lessons learned? Um, I enjoyed the relationships and the friendships that developed from that show, and I also enjoyed the fact that that I, I accomplished what I set out to do, and that was simply to raise awareness for the food allergy situation. Um, that's that's what I wanted to do, and that's what I did. And, and the lessons that I learned was that I had a lot more patience and tolerance than I ever thought I had. What's your biggest accomplishment so far and what have you not had the chance to do yet? Well, nothing has trumped um, being a member of the Grand Ole Opry for me. Um, that's uh, that, that's something I'm most proud of and most humbled by too, um, to be a member of, of that uh, of that fraternity is uh, something that, that you don't earn, you, it's just bestowed on you. And uh, I love that. I love being a member of the Grand Ole Opry. And what have I not had the chance to do yet? I've already accomplished more and realized more than I ever dreamed that I would. So it's all gravy from here on. Ah, it's the last one. I like the message in Just Fish. What's your recommendation for taking care of your kids while you're so busy? Well, you have to try hard. You have to make it a priority um, to spend as much quality time with your family as you possibly can. Since I don't, since I'm not able to spend a lot of time with them, I have to maximize the time that I do get to spend with them and make sure that it's good quality time. and. The message of just fishing is just that. Find something that's a wholesome activity that you and your kids can enjoy doing together, whether it's playing video games or outdoor activities or whatever it may be, but you just have to spend time with your kids because um, some of my favorite memories from when I was a kid were doing those very things with my my old man and my granddaddies too, for that matter. Um, learning to fish with my granddaddies and my daddy and hunting with my daddy. And those are just precious memories. And uh, You need to make those kind of memories with your kids because you know yourself, they last forever. And um, you only get a chance to do it once while they're little. So anyway, thanks for having me on the box on Rhapsody.